Most of us know him as a world-renowned Pokemon trainer and fighter. He has fought in over five regions, including Kanto and the Orange Islands. And though he may not win every battle, from each one he learns a valuable lesson. I was born and raised in Pallet Town by my mom. She's always so overbearing, but all mothers are, aren't they? When I turned 10, I decided I was going to set out to fulfill my dreams of becoming the ultimate Pokemon master, so I went to Professor Oak. I got a late start, though, and missed out on getting my Squirtle that I wanted. I ended up getting a really pissed off Pikachu instead. This, as you can see, is my trophy room. I think I'm going to need to expand to eh, about three times the size here pretty soon. Anyways, it all started at Kanto where they have the eight gyms and the eight gym leaders. You gotta beat each gym to get the special badge to get into the Indigo League. And since I've gotten there, I've been way more battles. I've done way more cool stuff. I even beat the Elite Four. One of Ash's longtime friends, Misty, was made at the beginning of his journey. When I first met Ash, I was the gym leader of Cerulean City, and my specialty were water Pokemon. The first day I met him, I saved him from the drowning depths of the water with my fishing pole. And then he proceeded to steal my bike and run away from a flock of birds. I followed him until he gave me my bike back, but he never gave me my bike back. And then there's Misty. She's definitely one short-tempered ginger. Poor bitch doesn't even have a soul, but she's still nice and caring, and I guess, uh, I guess I shouldn't be talking too bad about her, because he's still over in his bike. Ash's first gym badge was won in Pewdus City against Brock, a walk-type trainer. I'm the gym leader of Cerulean City once upon a time. I was aspiring to be one of the greatest gym leaders in the world. Then Ash came along. I became like a father figure to him. I'm a rock Pokemon leader. Those are my favorite. Okay, so I, I joined Ash's group. Became pretty much the bitch of the group. I do the cooking and the cleaning. And whatever else, I guess. I was aspiring to be one of the greatest Pokemon breeders too. Brock's always been there for me. He's a good guy, he's always there giving me advice. But lately I've just been feeling all this, this stressed Sexual tension there. Uh, it's wrong. Who's that Pokemon? This biography is brought to you by Egos. Egos. Lego, my Lego. Ah, Tiger! Has this ever happened to you? Tiger attacks have nearly tripled in the last decade, going from one Tiger attack to three. Here at Tiger Insurance Incorporated, we are proud to be the number one leader in Tiger Insurance Insurance. We provide insurance from all sorts of tigers, albino, Canadian, liger, and black. It's Super Jesus! One of me and Pikachu's most trying times was, was in Vermilion. It was tough, but we made it through. The man that first started Ash's journey was Professor Oak, 
a mentor of children in Pewter Town who want to become trainers and also invented the Pokédex. That Ash feller, I knew him since he was a boy. He's a pretty good guy. Gave him that there Pikachu. Trained it good. He's had it. He's had it his whole Pokemon career. He's, he's pretty soon gonna be out on his mission trying to catch them all. But he's been gone for a while now. That Ash, yeah. Miss him a lot. Remember all the good times when he was a boy, playing with Pokemon, wishing him that it was just his life stream, just go out there and try to catch as many as he could and battle people and be the best he could be. He's going up to the main battle coming soon. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Only certain fighters will be allowed to come depending on their status of fighting techniques. But Ash, I got confidence. He can make it. He's gonna be the best catcher fighter of them all. Along with friends, Ash Ketchum also made some enemies. With these comes the notorious Team Rocket group, Jesse and James. I've tried to dim my Pokemon hundreds and hundreds of times. And what I don't get is how they're always bitching about how they don't have money for food, but yet they can afford these giant robots. It's insanity. Another is Ash's childhood rival, Gary Oak, son of Professor Oak. I'm mother Gary, bitches. Ash can suck it. I'm a better Pokemon master than him any day. Suck my titties. Thank you for joining us and watching Ash Ketchum, the living legend. Tune in next week where we will be talking about He-Man.